Hello, everyone. This is Millie from the Octopus. Recently, we received a lot of requests from you guys asking how to extract coordinates from Google Maps. Great question. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the coordinates step by step. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. It could be tricky to notice that the coordinates are hidden inside the URLs. In this case, we need to search the address in Google Maps to get the URL. If you already got a list of addresses, that's perfect. Otherwise, you need to scrape for the addresses first. As we need to keep this video short, I'll skip this part for now. And I've already prepared the addresses of the McDonald's in Mallorca, Spain. For those who don't know how to use Octopus yet, I highly recommend watching this step-by-step how-to video first. This video consists of three parts. Part 1. Set up a crawler. Part 2. Octopus regex tool. Part 3. Start extraction. Step 1. Set up a task. First, we need to set up a crawler to let the bot search for the URLs. Open Octopus and select the advanced mode. Input the URL of Google Maps into the box and click Save. We need to switch the user agent to Firefox 45 at the setting. Now page is reloaded successfully. As you may notice, Octopus loads the web page within the built-in browser at the bottom. You can interact with the website by clicking on it. Once you set up an action, the workflow will show up on this area, and you can make editing on the setting area. Uncheck Auto Retry. Step 2. Enter the text value. Now we need to enter the addresses we prepared earlier into the search bar. To do so, click on the search bar. The Action Tips panel will pop up suggestions. Follow the tips and click Enter Text. Copy an address into the box Now the Google Maps will search for the value we just entered. But the question is, we have a list of values. We need to create a loop to let the scraper keep searching until we got all the URLs. To do so, go to the Workflow section, click the loop icon and drag it into the box. We need to define the loop mode as Tax List and copy the addresses into the box. Click OK to save the step. Pay attention here, we still need a little tweak on the workflow. Drag the enter text back inside the loop and check loop text box because we want the action to be executed inside the loop, not outside. The loop is just a loop. If we don't take any action, it won't proceed. Now we've finished setting a text loop with a list of search values. Don't forget to click OK and save the step. Step 3. Search the value. Once we complete creating a loop, we can tell Octopus to go ahead and search for the value we just entered. Click the magnifying glass and choose Click Button command from the Action Tips panel. Uncheck Auto Retry. Step 4. Extract the URLs. Once the web page finishes loading, drag the Extract Data action to the loop. Go to the Settings section, click Add Predefined Field and then find Add Current Page Information. Click Web Page URL from the drop-down menu. Click OK to save the step. Now we have the URLs. Here comes the fun part. How can we trim off the access part and get exact coordinates we want? You can either export the data to an Excel sheet and then split the URLs into different cells, or you can use the Octopus regex tool to regulate the format before we export the data. So what is regex? Regex stands for regular expression. Regular expression is a special text string that can be used to find patterns. Octopar regex tool is a built-in tool that offers a handy way to generate regular expressions automatically by setting up various criteria. Octopus offers eight data reformat options for you 
to further process or clean the data extracted into the right format. Click Customize icon at the bottom. Select Refine Extract Data. Then click Add Step button. This brings you to the function list where you can choose for data cleaning. In this case, we select Match with Regular Expression. Click Try Regex Tool button. Notice that we want to pull the part after the add sign, but before the second comma. Check the Start With box and enter Add. This is telling Regex that you want a part starting from the add sign. Identically, check the End With box. Then copy and paste both the comma and the number 1. Let me elaborate real quick here. Is there two commas behind the add sign? We better define which comma we want to end with. Notice, there's a number, 1, follows the second comma. So, we put them all together inside the parameter. This tells Regas that you want a part before the comma that precedes the number, 1. Click the Generate button, and the regular expression shows up in the box. Now let's confirm we've set it properly by clicking the Match button. It generates the corresponding expression on the left. Boom! This is exactly what we want. Go ahead and click Apply, then click OK to confirm. We can then change the field name to Coordinates. Alright, we just finished the entire scripting process from head to toe. We can now start extraction and see what we'll get. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video, please reach out to support at octopars.com. We'll walk you through the journey from a beginner to a web scraping expert. Thumbs up and happy scraping! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.